Delicious friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I, I'm Goofy and I am Jackie. All right, so it is spring break. I know I have not been very consistent with my videos. So I thought this week I have no excuses. Um, I was going to get ready for you guys. I am trying to be consistent during this week off to get up, make my bed, do all the good things for myself and get ready so I feel like I'm a productive member of society. Like I'm going to work every day even though I'm not. All right, so how do you guys like my new shirt? I'm kind of digging it. It's from Target. All right, so we are going to do a what I eat today. I'm also working on a dinner video. I've made some awesome dinners and I want to just compile those dinners and make a video for you guys. So I'm going to work on that today and then we're going to work on breakfast. I am not really sure what I want to have. So I think I'm just going to do, I think it's time for a French toast sandwich this morning. I think I'm feeling it. So that's what's going to go down. I'm going to make a French toast sandwich. I am also, I've got a plan for today. I'm going to clean out my office closet. I've been meaning to do that and I thought it would be the best time to do this. The great thing about this week is we're going to have rain for the next three days. So I have so much time to get all the things done. So there's no excuses. So I'm going to work on my office closet today. I've got to mail some happies out to my amazing saint customers and friends that have been so supportive of me during this journey. So I'm going to do that today and get it together. I've got to get it together. So let's get to breakfast making and Lily's waiting on me patiently. She's just going to have to chill and just be okay. Right, sweet friends. I've got my oven on warm, my oven stovetop rather. I'm going to show you my French toast mixture. So this is super simple. I do use my gluten-free bread, so it's frozen. I'm going to use the egg white out of this egg. And then I'm gonna use the yellow in my sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the skillet. And then I'm going to add just a little, probably two tablespoons of egg whites just in case I need it. So I'm gonna do some vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon. And I forgot my most favorite ingredient is not a tablespoon of non-fat Greek yogurt. This is how I make my French toast sandwiches. I love being all for you guys because I feel like I can cook a little bit more and show you guys really good breakfast ideas. When I'm at work, I can't do this. I'm really excited about being off this week. I, it was needed and spring break comes at the best time for the kiddos and our, the teachers. <laughs> found these little ham slices at Aldi too, so I'm gonna add that to the mix. Kinda have to light you guys up when I edit, I didn't realize. All right, so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so I've got my cinnamon, just a little sprinkle, a little dash of vanilla, probably two and a half egg whites. It's ready, I get my skillet really hot, and I dunk my bread. I promise you guys, I'm gonna be so much better about putting the ingredients of what I show you guys as well. I have slacked big time. I guess having my Facebook group, my Instagram, YouTube, all the things, your girl's been slacking. She hasn't been slacking, she's just jack of all trades, master of none. Really, I am, I feel that way sometimes. Okay. So I've got my egg, it's almost done. I'm gonna flip it over so it'll be ready for my sandwich. You guys know how much I love, I was gonna do a slice cheese, but I'm doing this, um, the Happy Farms Creamy Original, the little cheese wedges. I absolutely love those and I feel like they're so proportioned. 50 calories, I think they're one smart point, four grams of fat, one carb, just really good um, protein. It's actually got two grams of protein for that little wedge, which I think is amazing. So that'll go on my sandwich as well. You know what I'm going to buy myself today, guys? I'm going to buy a stinking, 
spatula. Like I have none. Like what in the world? I think the kids have eaten them. Not really, I'm just kidding. No, I really think they have. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Guys, I have, a, okay, we gotta chat. So I have had, hold on, now you're too bad. I've had so much fun when the kids go away <laughs> for a week. You get all the things. Oh, I got my hair done too. I wish you guys could see it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you got to follow me on Instagram. I'm doing some fun reels and I did my hair. My mom killed it on my hair. You guys, my roots were so bad, it was incredible. But anyway, cop squirrel. Squirrely, squirrely, squirrely. So anyway, I got the opportunity to clean up their room and you guys, I am not kidding. I love my boys something fierce, I do, okay? But I've raised my three children to be, to make their beds every day, to clean their room up, all things. Well, I apparently it hasn't settled in. So I've got an 18, a 19, and an almost 21 year old. Yes, my baby girl turns 21 next Tuesday. So, Calista's pretty good about making her bed every day. Boys, eh. Parker would make his bed if his brother still wasn't laying in it. So that's probably the issue. He'll make his side of the bed, which is super funny. But I have them, have. They have a twin bed each, okay? I know, they're six, what, six, two and six, five, and they're still in twin size beds. So, what we did was we pushed them together and got a little adapter to make them a king size bed. So, yes, my boys sleep together. They've always been really close. I mean, Chaz loves Parker more than Parker likes Chaz, if that makes sense. Like. He's like, I can't handle my brother. This is just too much. So it's so funny. So they have a king size bed. Well, they said their sister broke the box springs by jumping on the corner because they wrestle all the time. Yes, my kids still wrestle. So this was like a year ago before Calista got married. We have not fixed their box spring. I know, I know, I know. With us being gone every weekend because we have to escape this place. Um, <laughs> We just, we just dropped the ball completely. So, Sunday when we got home, David is working this week. I'm off, but Dave's working. We decided I wanted to clean up their room, get it organized, and help them out a little bit. I do not do their drawers or anything like that. I do not do, if they have two little caddies that they've got to work on cleaning out. I just washed their sheets, made their bed, just kind of cleaned up. Underneath their bed, no lie, there was like 87 pairs of socks. Like, it was insane, okay? It was absolutely insane. So, I did all that for them, and it just feels good to get that stuff done, because I feel like I can get all that stuff caught up, and when they get home, I am going to be adamant. They are grown, they should know better, and they should per be pretending that they live in their own home, and they've got to keep it neat and tidy. So we're gonna work on that. I'll let you know how that goes. But anyway, so that's what the, I, I just enjoy getting things done when I'm off. I I was sitting down watching, I was watching the mom logs, Lindsay, and catching up on her and Olivia. I just, I love watching my girls and I've gotta catch up on C. Mindy Mom and Lauren, I, I caught up on her yesterday. And Molly and, Miranda, I just love my girls. And so I've been catching up. Well, I've been sitting too much because my lower back's been bothering me. So yesterday I got up, got an ice pack and took some ibuprofen and I felt so much better. And I was like, I better stop sitting so much. So your girl doesn't like to sit. Her body doesn't like to sit either. So anyway, all right, I really talked too much. All right, let's look at breakfast. I'm gonna show you how I put this beautiful thing to get. I'm gonna have two slices of ham. And I'm gonna have one wedge. That's what I love about this wedge cheese. I don't have to measure. And I'm all for not having to measure every stinking thing. I didn't track my food yesterday, so I'm going to be adamant the rest of the week. So I'm gonna spread this wedge cheese out. It's like the perfect amount too. All right, so I've got my cheese. Now I'm going to do my jelly. So I'm gonna weigh it. I'm gonna actually do 20 grams. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see. That's always helpful. I know I'm showing you guys here. I'm gonna turn it around. My counter space is so, which is a good amount of jelly. And this is just regular jelly. I quit buying the sugar-free. I'm trying to just 
Oh, you guys, I'm trying to do better. Pure two ounces, 56 grams. So I'm just gonna do two slices for 32 grams and put that on there. And I'm gonna add my egg. You guys should see my mess. Like, I'm notorious for making a mess. And then my egg. And put that top on there. And you guys, look how glorious that is. French toast sandwich, yum. I had to show you guys what I'm into today. So you guys seen my office before. This is Kelly's old room. And it's Operation Clean Out the Closet. So it had a, another clothes rack in there or bar. So I just brought the shelf from downstairs and I'm gonna reorganize. Dave actually had built some shelves in here and it looks so stinking good. So I'm gonna utilize those and just make this space look fabulous. You don't know how bad I want to like put something on the wall, but that's okay. We can let it go. All right, so I've got my room finished. I'll show you guys the after. I'm not completely finished. I'm gonna do a little bit more organizing, but I've got to go run errands. So I'm about to go live with my Facebook group and do my makeup. And I gotta get my hair done. So I'm gonna get my hair done, do all the things, and I've got to go get Dave a lunchbox too. So I was gonna run and get him a lunchbox. He has been taking a grocery bag with him to work. So anyway, um, so this is what I do. I'm silly. I'm, uh, I have a little spot. Oh, it's really bright. Oh, that looks good. But I'm gonna go live with my Facebook group, but I would just, thought I would show you like the process of what I do with my makeup. And if you'd like to get color matched, please message me. I will send you a job form and you fill it out, like the questionnaire of all the things that you like, don't like. And I will help you simplify your makeup routine. I was a non-believer when I first got introduced to this makeup and I was like, whatever. But let me just tell you guys, the difference in a cream makeup on my face is absolutely amazing. It's so super simple, so few steps, and it just makes your routine so much better. Um, I think that you realize how much junk makeup wise that you have when you simplify your life into one compact. That's all I get to say about that. But I'm so excited that I got all this stuff done. I needed to get it done and it was just a must. And I think that um, I was really procrastinating because I don't know. And I knew that I had this time and I try to utilize my time when I'm off. Now I don't have a clip. Utilize my time when I'm off so I can get all the things done. And I know this sounds crazy, but since we go to our happy place every weekend, I don't need a vacation per se because I feel like I have a vacation every weekend. And so when I have this time at home, I love to utilize it and really get things done that I've been putting off. And it's like, I am like the most organized person you will ever meet, but I have a tendency to um, just throw things where they need to go sometimes, if that makes sense, and um, where I want them to be, but not completely where they need to be. So anyway, um, I just got my hair done, and I was like, I've got to fix my hair. My shirt was tucked, but I was like, i got to fix my hair. I, we are going to the gym later today. We, I want to do a class. Calista is being a turd and doesn't want to, but she's babysitting and going to get her hair done. So I don't think she'll have time not to do the class. But um, anyway, it's just been fun. So I'm gonna start stop chatting so much and get my life together. That's what I'm gonna do. And figure out lunch. So it's almost 11, and I'm not gonna go see Dave until later on, so I can get go see him, then go to the grocery store, and I will have you guys at grocery haul for this week too and meal plan. So I want to try to knock out everything I can do here, so I don't have to derail. If that makes sense, so I don't get squirreled. Yesterday I got out early. And sometimes I like to just get my stuff done here and then come back. But it's gonna be nasty the rest of the week too. It's actually nice out and I don't wanna waste another good day. It's overcast, but who really cares? Um, 
So I thought I would do some running around. It's nice, I'll tell you this, with my organizing of my closet. It's amazing that I didn't have to go and buy anything. I am a, a storage container junkie, and so I had a ton of stuff, and I just utilized what I had, and it looks so stinking good, like really, really good. So I'm really excited about that. Um, not to have to go out and buy stuff, because it's not necessary, and I'm really trying to not spend all the money, so that's what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna go live in just a second. I gotta finish my hair, and I'll show you guys the whole process. <laughs> mode I decided for lunch so I had gotten this live G free macaroni and cheese and I thought why not create a dish out of it so I've got my California blend in the freezer freezer that I got out of the freezer in the microwave I've got a can of chicken and I'm just gonna cook the macaroni as suggested and then just stir all this together and kind of make like a just oomph my mac and cheese but for snack, I'm gonna have this little wafer. So these are my little gluten-free wafers. I absolutely love them. They are so good and so tasty. And I need something on my belly because I'm kinda hungry. I don't know how long, but eat. That's what gets me in trouble. All right. On that right, friends. So I've got my noodles ready and have the little, kinda like a Velveeta pack of cheese in there. Move you guys down a little bit more. And so I have my veggies. I'm gonna dump those in. I got all the broccoli stems out. I don't know why they put so many, I mean, I guess they can't help because they chop it. So I'm put that in and mix it up. And then I'm just gonna add a whole can of chicken. So I got lots of protein in. And this should be for a couple of meals. And I am gonna add in a little bit of more butter, spray butter. And I'm just gonna add in a whole can of chicken. Yum. Figured why not. Oh, that looks so good. So really easy lunch. And I should get three lunches out of this. Like it's a lot of food. So I really should get a lot out of there. So there you have it. Lunch. Sometimes lunches are just really good and easy, especially when you're at home. Where's my mind? See, it's mine. Oh, mine. Um, so good. I will have to do this more often. And then the veggies like made it. Look, I probably should have added more. That is so good and I will. I'll get three servings out of that. I'm gonna probably add some more veggies and get four. But that is so good and so simple and quick. That's why I love being at home because I feel like I can experiment more with the recipes and share them with you guys. So, a lot of the girls do the guiltless mac from Trader Joe's and do that. And it's like um, a frozen meal. But this is actually, so I got that. That's where I got the idea. So, it's just a box of regular macaroni and cheese with the Velveeta-like cheese in it. Probably two cups 
of frozen California medley and one can of chicken. That's so good. Like, yum. I haven't had macaroni and cheese in forever. Like, boxed. Because when you have to eat gluten free, you just go get those little luxuries. Alright, so I'm going to eat. I've got to get with it so I can go to my sweet hubby. I am going to go to the gym early today to get some steps in because, hold on, let me tell you. Let's see. Well, I've gotten 6,000 steps in, so I've done really good today. But, I do want to be more intentional, and I've got to show you guys my office. So, I do have to still go to the grocery store. I'm mad I didn't do that already. Whatever. That's okay. And, oh, I'm going to make skinniest dish chili mac spaghetti. I don't wait. And I can't wait to show you guys. Alright, I'm going to get to eating. I'm going to quit eating in front of you. Drink my water. I'm a little behind and um, you know get my life together you know like I always do still hands and there is the after so I've got all of my craft stuff up here now everything's organized I brought that shelf up from downstairs and done so proud to get this done this week task accomplished so feeling so accomplished got my grocery haul done I can't decide if I'm gonna put that video out first or this one I can't decide so I'm gonna work on that but headed to the gym I've got to take Calista's goodies to her house I can't decide I'm gonna she is actually getting her hair done right now so I'm trying to decide what I should do um I really want to get to the gym and walk so that's what I'm gonna do I'm, her groceries will be fine I'm gonna have them in a freezer bag so I'm headed to the gym and gonna get my workout in so excited about that. We are actually going to do a slaw mix that I love so much from Aldi. It's a cabbage slaw mix. It has um, sesame seeds and dressing in it, and I'm really excited about that. So, I'm going to, excuse me as I change gears. So, we're going to have that for dinner, and we're just going to do chicken fingers on top. So, I got Live G Free chicken nuggets for me which I will throw in the air fryer and I got chicken fingers for Dave to throw in the air fryer so we'll do that and have a really quick and easy dinner that slaw mix is so good and I just checked the macros on the chicken nuggets it's, they're really good to have breading so I'm really excited about that so we're gonna have that for dinner tonight keeping it simple I did not eat a pre-workout snack um, it's fine I have a tendency when I'm home, not that I forget about food, but or forget to eat, but I kind of do. That makes sense. And I've been running a muck, so when I run crazy, and that's why I got some of the snacks that I got today, the applesauce pack and the granola bars for me to have for when I'm running like this, which I should have grabbed an applesauce pack so I could have that for a snack. But that's okay. Or grabbed an apple or an orange or something. Or a bag of grapes. <laughs> Whatever. That's what I'm learning that is so important is to have those snacks ready. I've always done that and I've always been consistent with that. And I've had a tendency to kind of slack. So I just checked where Calista was. She was not, she was at my mom and dad's. Now she's not. Now I'm going to whip her because I could have taken her food back. Oh well, I'll take it by on the way home. So really learning to listen to my body and listen to hunger cues and I'm big on eating. I used to be really good at snacking and I'm trying to get away from that because I feel like I snack way too much and I've really got to hone it in. So I'm really doing good this week with that. Um, so anyway, all right, get to the gym. We have wall balls for days. Not excited about that. I'm gonna have to put my knee brace on with the weather like it is. My knee just gives me fits, but that's okay. I'm gonna do this workout really slow because 50 wall balls and it's a lot of wall balls. I don't know if we can break them up or not. So I'm going to see. Um, wall balls are probably one of the hardest for me other than box step ups. Box jump ups I do well. 
box jumps, I do well. I just have to do a lower box. Um, because of my knee, and if you don't know, I had ACL surgery, a total kind of, they had to reconstruct my ACL. They, um, my patella tendon was torn. Let's see, um, my meniscus was torn, all the things I need. So I continually damaged it and just kept tearing my ACL. So I finally got that fixed. And my leg to this day is still very weak. Um, a couple years after the surgery, I had to have a screw removed from my surgery that was backing out. Sorry, guys. That was backing out of my knee, so I had to have surgery again, which my meniscus was bad again. And I'm just really hard on my knees. I just have bad knees. It's, you know, my dad's had two knee replacements. It's just kind of in the family, you know what I mean? It's in the genes, that old, good old knee. So, just trying to take better care of myself. So, that, anyway. All right, rambling, ram, ramsey, rambling, rambling, I'm rambling. Um, so, I'm just going to do those wall balls slow today. I really get... I really get discouraged when we have them in the workout and we have a snatch because, you know, I'm here for the snatch. So, at least I look good for that snatch workout. That's what I'm saying. Waffles. We have to get to the gym and I will check back in at dinner time. It should be quick and easy and um, get her done. All right. I'm out. Let me show you dinner not already finished so dave went ahead and made our salad mix so it's a slaw mix this is what we're having throw you in the fridge because we already made it and these live g3 chicken and he already cooked it and it's done i'm so excited so i'm about to make my plate and i will show you are you ready for it sure, friends this is the salad mix ready to go so i'm going to <clears throat> Put about a cup and a half into my bowl. And then I'm going to clear my thing out and then I'm going to have measured out. So five ounces, five and a half ounces of chicken. So there is dinner, you guys. Look how good that looks. Super simple. And I'm here for it. For what I ate in a day, vlog style, day in a life kind of thing today that I've had because we've just done all the things together. I'm gonna go eat my dinner and enjoy Big Bang with Dave. Always remember, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are loved, you are enough, and you are flipping phenomenal. Love you guys so stinking much. Mwah.